Welcome to the Freedom in 5 Minutes podcast. The podcast where we make five-minute decisions that can change your business, your relationships, and your life. Hey, this is Dean Soto with freedominfivenutes.com and prosulum.com, P-R-O-S-U-L-U-M.com. And we're here again with another Freedom in 5 Minutes podcast. Today's topic is this, never stop hitting the bass hits. That and more coming up. All right, good morning. Good morning, good afternoon, uh, wherever you're at right now. And dog, why are you... I'm going to just eat eat the hay. Whatever you have in your mouth, eat it. Go ahead. You weirdo. Anyway, out walking the dog. I'm Mr. Mom for a couple of my kids. I am Mr. Mom. Uh, my, my wife went down to Southern California. Give me that. Give me that. Bam. My wife went to Southern California in order to visit with her parents and with some friends that are down there. I'm here with three of the kids. She's down there with four. And uh, it's it's been interesting. (laughs) Went to Chuck E. Cheese two days ago. Went to John's Incredible Pizza Company two days uh, yesterday. And today we are just lounging about. But here's the cool thing and the reason for the topic that we have today. So while we were at John's Incredible Pizza Factory yesterday, I had, I, I basically have the younger, I would say the younger three. They're not totally young. They are the youngest. So I have one that's, that is young, the youngest that's with the wife right now. But, <coughs> but the, the youngest is, sorry, the youngest, I'm all over the place. I'm going to ignore you, dog. You're Throwing me off my game. All right. So the while we were at in John's Incredible Pizza Factory yesterday, I had a really interesting situation come up. So the, over the last few months, I have had a I've, I've had a client who has paid for uh, some consulting over the last few few months, and it's been quite a lot of money. It's been great. It's so systems and process consulting, building up their pipeline. Their pipeline is freaking smoking. And the cool thing is I get a percentage of everyone that goes through that pipeline. Because basically what was happening before was they are a financial services company. And what would happen is someone would come in and they'd buy a house and get cash flow income off of that house. But the company itself didn't have processes in place to then look at the customer and say, okay, well, what do they need next? And what do they need next? And even if they did know what they needed next, even if they did know what they needed next, they would not follow up. They would not follow up with the customer. And that made things very, very, very unprofitable. (laughs) So the big thing with this is that you would have these customers who would come through with hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars ready to invest. And their, their ultimate goal was to invest that money into cash flow assets. They'd get one or two assets and then stop. They would buy cash flow real estate or first trust deed or they buy whatever and then stop. And you're, the company was literally losing millions of dollars in potential revenue. So anyway, they hired me and they also hired a friend of mine and it was, it basically was a nice chunk of change every month. Well, now that chunk of change is gone and I get a piece of the sales. I get a piece of the uh, percentage of people who come in, which is not bad at all. (laughs) But obviously whenever you lose a monthly something that you can depend on monthly, you're like, oh crap. (laughs) Uh, what's going to happen? How am I going to make additional revenue? Yada, yada, yada. And so while I was at John's Incredible Pizza Company with my kids, I I, I literally, I want to say that I was on this 
car thing where it was just like a trail of cars that goes around and around and around. I was on that ride with the kids and I got an email from a another client who is a client of Prosulum, the virtual assistant side of things. They have one of my systems and processes, process virtual assistants, and they love them. They are a franchise. They are, they are the corporate end of a franchise in Southern California. Amazing tea company, wonderful, wonderful people. I get this email that I wasn't quite sure what they were asking, but it came and, it, and it's it basically, it was the owner, the, the founder of the f- franchise. And he said, hey, Dean, how much do we have? He said, I want to pay off the virtual assistant for the year. How much of a balance do we have left? <clears throat> and I didn't quite understand what he said. So I wrote back to him and I said, uh, if I understand correctly, what you're asking is for 2018, or maybe it's for 2019. For 2018, you're all paid up. For 2019, you still have it was it was based, close to twenty thousand dollars, <laughs> and it was awesome. Um, so, but that would have been on a monthly basis if if I factored in the entire month, uh, the entire year in a in a month, or in, if I factored in the entire year. Well, <laughs> he wrote back and said, "Yep, that's exactly what I was looking for. Thank you." And I still wasn't. I was still kind of confused. And so, not too long after that, I actually got home, and one of the other co-founders. One of the other co-founders contacted me and said, hey, we're trying to pay for the year, but we don't know how. We're trying to pay for 2019, but we don't know how. And I'm like, oh, <coughs> um, well, uh, here, here's it. I'll send you an invoice and you'll be able to pay through that invoice. You can do it via credit card or ACH. And... And so the co-founder was like, oh, yeah, okay, perfect, thanks. And so, so all that being said, January is going to be pretty nice because come pr- right before January, I'll be making a good chunk of revenue already, just wham, right in the beginning, which I have to then pay out, my, pay out uh, some of my referral partners right, right then and there because I don't want to be taxed on that. But... But this all goes to show that when you hit base hits, when you make the decision to make base hits, sometimes you'll have home runs, okay? Now, not every client does this. They're doing this for tax purposes. They're basically wanting to pay for next year uh, so that they can start writing that off on taxes, right? And so they not every company is going to that uh, that works with me is going to do what they're doing but how cool is that that not only did i have the monthly revenue from that client and other clients i also <laughs> had a cool little home run happen right as my consulting gig ended and wham now i got a lot of revenue right? And so <coughs> that wouldn't have happened. That would not have happened had I, not, had I not focused and made the decision to go after the base hits. So it's important that, I mean, especially in business, this, this applies to your family, this applies to your spirituality, this applies to your, your fitness. A lot of the times, good things happen just when you get reps in. And what I mean by that is every day, if you, say, if, if you exercise every day, even if you go out and run 50 yards or something really, really small, when you normally would go out to the gym, you stay in this habit. You, you make these little base hits. You do these little reps. You just make sure that you do the rep. 
You don't stop. You slow down, but you don't stop. You make that decision, it ends up creating the opportunities for home runs later. Maybe, maybe it's sending your wife a love note every day. You decide, I'm going to do this every day. And sometimes it's a text where it's just, hey, I love you. That's it. Sometimes it's a huge text, but you're doing that rep every day. I sent my wife a love note this morning. I thought it was so small. <laughs> it, was, it was literally just, it was, it, it was like, I love you. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to be with my kids. Something super, super small like that. And I thought it would just not, it, it's not going to be meaningful. It, it always, it always com- comes to my mind when it's something small. It's not this huge, long, oh, my dear, I have been thinking about you for the last two hours and, and how we used to frolic in the hills, how we used to hold each other's hands and sing songs together. And we didn't really do that before. But, you know, you, these, these long, drawn-out things. I just basically said, hey, I love you. Thank you so much for this opportunity to be with my kids and to enjoy them. It's been wonderful. Uh, she wrote back. It, took, it actually took a few hours for her to write back. But she wrote back and said, oh, my gosh, thank you so much for this. I love you. You're the most amazing husband in the world. <laughs> I'm looking at it going, Really? <laughs> Well, that was interesting. But here's the thing. She, I've been sending her love notes pretty much every day for the last four or five months. And she loves it every single time. And I could have made the excuse that, hey, you know, I'm watching the kids for her. She's having a blast down in Southern California. It doesn't have to happen. But I did the rep anyway. And look at what happened. That is, that is a sign of just doing these base hits it's so important. You cannot hit the home runs. You're not going to hit the home runs. The, the, the overnight successes that you see on, on movies and TV and things like that, or just even just movies in general, where you have the main character and literally in, in, in two hours, literally in two hours, they go from poor to filthy rich, or they go from having no love in their life to having the love of their life. Or they go from not having the strength and the courage to do something to doing something. We are, we are brainwashed to think that we're going to hit these huge home runs in that short amount of time. It's not going to happen. That's why these base hits are so important. Okay, so what is the decision right now that you could make, that you could do every day, that you can do every day, that you can do every day, something small, that would be a base hit, that that would increase the love in your marriage, that would help you to uh, be better at business. Because with my example in business, that home run came literally as a result of just hitting base hits and out of the blue. I didn't even, I didn't even meant, I didn't even say, Hey, you know, you could pay for an, uh, annual thing up front. No, they wanted to save on taxes and boom, home run. Pretty cool. What can you do now? What can you do right now? That would be a base hit. I want you to make that decision to do that base hit at least, at least, at least for two weeks, 14 days. Make it small. Make it super, super small. And I promise you, you're going to see some pretty massive results from it. Okay. All right, so this is Dean Soto. Go check out freedominfiveminutes.com. You get seven free episodes there that you can not find anywhere else. And if you ever want a systems and process virtual assistant or systems consulting, you can go to prosulum.com, P R O. S-U-L-U-M dot com. You can sign up for a free 30-minute consultation. My consults are valuable, all right? They are valuable. Uh, Yes, obviously, it's going to be, I I want you to have one of my virtual assistants, so I will try to sell you. But even if if I don't, even if I don't, you're going to come out of it completely, completely changed in your business. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. You're going to go, wow, that was extremely, extremely valuable. 
I have some awesome ideas of how I can move forward. And because uh, I really want it to be a consult. You know, that's, there's so many, so many things out there, so many businesses out there that just want to sell you. And off, a lot of the times I'm telling you, <laughs> I, 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 can, I, can, I can tell you that a lot of the times I don't even say yes to people because it does definitely takes a certain mindset to even work with my virtual assistants. Um, one of my, one of my best referrers, I told her no, like two or three times to the point where she's like, well, maybe, maybe I don't quite understand what you're getting at. Please like explain to me. And she kept coming back. And eventually I said yes, because she finally understood what I was trying to say with, and why these virtual assistants are different and why they're powerful and I had to turn her away that, that much in order for her to work with me. And then after that, she actually ends, ended up being a great, great referral partner. So anyway, <laughs> go check that out if you want that. And I will see you in the next Freedom in 5 Minutes episode. <laughs>